Hi, this is Paolo. I'm the author of the Reality Plugin, and today I'm very excited to announce the upcoming new version of our software, Reality 3 for Poser. Yes, it's finally happening and it's fantastic. Reality 3 is a Poser plugin that allows you to achieve stunning levels of photorealism by rendering your scene with Lux Render. Lux renders lights and materials using exact physics simulations that lead to amazing results. Lights are rendered using full spectrum, not just RGB. And this allows you to do amazing things like adjusting the exposure of the scene while it's rendering. You can even turn off and on lights while the scene renders or change the color and intensity of the lights. Lux Render gives you realistic materials like glass, metal, water and others that are rendered using unbiased rendering. Plus, it supports GPU acceleration. Reality 3 gives you access to all these features with a user interface that is well known for its ease of use. Reality 3 is not released yet, but today, together with the Poser team, I wanted to give you a quick preview of where we are with this plugin. And here we are in Poser. We have a nice little scene with a character and a few props. We can call Reality by going to the Render menu. The plugin is perfectly integrated in the Poser user interface. And here is Reality for Poser. Think of Reality as a specialized material editor. It first scans all the materials in the Poser scene and then intelligently converts them to Lux materials. This is not limited to colors in image maps. Reality converts the procedural nodes like color math, noise generators, etc. In fact, Reality 3 includes support for most of Lux textures, including the procedural ones like bricks, clouds, and so on. Because of this, Reality can analyze all the nodes in the Poser materials and convert them to the closest configuration for Lux. So let's take a look at the iris material, for example. and see that it's made of just an image map mixed with a color. Switching to reality, we find the same material and we see that it's being converted to glossy, which is expected. The glossy material has a series of textures, one for diffuse, one for specular and so on. This object here in the diffuse channel shows a color mixed with an image, the same image listed in the poser version. This object on the screen is called a texture avatar. It's a compact way of showing how a texture is handled for this channel. We have avatars for diffuse, specular, and all the other textures used for this material. We can edit a texture by clicking on the gear menu. This action activates the texture editor. And there we can see the color, the image map, and the fact that they are multiplied together. If we click on the gear menu for the image, we can see a scaled version of that picture, plus its sides at the bottom. And we can replace that picture if we want with another one. This doesn't change the poser material, by the way, just the version managed by reality. Easy like that. New for Reality 3, we have a specialized skin material that supports subsurface scattering. Now, let's use something a little more complex, like the face material. If we look at the poser version, we see that this is a rather complex material. Lots of nodes. Well, reality understands that this is a skin material and there are several options that will kick in to create skin with beautiful subsurface scattering. But let's take a look at what happens in the bump map channel of Poser. 
we see a math functions node that is connected with the image used for the diffuse channel. When you do that in Poser, the result is to turn the image into a grayscale image. The second slot shows a granite node connected. That is to add some noise to the texture to make it bumpy. Well, reality converts all those operations without problems. We see a math texture with the corresponding addition operation, like in the poser material. The first texture is the image map, no surprise there. The second is more interesting. The cloud's procedural texture generates a pattern similar to the granite node in poser, and we can see that reality supports all the noise generators provided by Lux. In fact, we can switch between all of them and see the different patterns. So, the material conversion is great. You get a complete starting point from the poser nodes, and then you have a very powerful and easy to use material editor to take advantage of all the features of Lux materials. Now, let me show you how well Reality 3 is integrated with Poser. First of all, the Reality window is a standalone application that communicates with Poser. This means that it does not block your access to Poser. At any time, you can edit your scene, you can access all the Poser features and still have Reality available to work on your rendering parameters. At the same time, any change that you make to your Poser scene is immediately reflected by Reality. For example, let's say that you want to rename this figure from Victoria 4 to Lady Blaze. That's the name of this outfit. Once you do it in Poser, the change is immediately reflected in reality. No need to refresh or reload anything, it just happens. Same thing if we add the figure to the scene. Let's add the grey alien. and switch to reality. The new figure is there. Let's delete it from the scene. and it's gone from reality as well. This tight integration between reality and Poser is accomplished by using a new add-on framework that has been created in Poser 9 Service Release 3. The add-on framework is the result of a collaboration between myself and the Poser team at Smith Micro. At the beginning of the project, when I expressed my concern about the task of integrating such a complex plugin, the Poser team simply answered, well, tell us what you need and we will make it happen. And they did. It was really fantastic and a demonstration of why Poser is such a great application. The Poser team is made of very dedicated people who work together with the community of Poser users. In the past few months, we have refined the framework. And now that it is in Poser, independent developers can create new plugins that integrate with Poser like never before. Reality is the first of such plugins, but we hope to see many more in the future. All right, this is all for this preview. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep an eye on our website and our social network pages for more news about Reality 3 for Poser. Thank you for watching.